I'm sexy and I know it. And I'm going to teach you how you will be too. Welcome to the Shikama Live Show. Today's topic is how to be sexy. More scientifically, it's called neuro linguistic programming. And I'm going to teach you in really one second, for two minutes, okay, five minutes, how to do this. Actually, it just takes. So let's get started here. Many women find me attractive. I use it to my advantage all the time. When I walk into an office and look into the eyes of some receptionist or administrator, I can immediately see her, look at me, catch her breath, and pretend to keep calm. I don't get a kick out of it, nor a thrill, but simply get out my chalkboard and start writing the things she's going to do for me for the next hour or two because she's under my control. Now, others get the same glimmer in their eye, but instead of keeping calm, they immediately let me know they don't find me attractive. What do I do when confronted with that? I get out my chalkboard and start writing the things she's going to do for me for the next hour or two because she's under my control. Now, you might be asking yourself, how on earth could I control those that find me attractive and those that don't find me attractive? It's easy because those that say they don't find me attractive go out of their way to prove to themselves they don't find me attractive. They're not telling me they don't find me attractive. They're telling themselves they don't find me attractive. It's all a psychological game and they play to prove their independence. That leaves a third group. And those are the people who don't think looks matter at all. How could I get someone under my control that doesn't value looks? Ask yourself, what goes with looks? Brains. So for those people that look at me, sigh and say, next, and then look down at their paper or computer, getting ready to process my instructions, I simply walk up, knock their socks off. What's the easiest way to knock their socks off? Compliment their looks and pretend that I'm under their control. Even the most bored bureaucrat is still a human. If he or she is processing orders all day, someone that walks up, pretends to see them, then smile, and then compliment them, and derail their thoughts about work for a split second, will want to keep you around all day. See what just happened? I made them want to keep me around by making them feel good. So what does a person like that do? Whatever I tell them to do. <laughs> Finally, this goes for men and women. Even the most manly, anti-gay, alpha male, even more so actually, will crumble under a smile and compliment. If you walk up looking down at your paper and then look up and see them and then get a big grin on your face and sigh that you're glad it's them that you're talking to and then give them a guy or a girl compliment, you have now put them at a disadvantage. And then immediately follow up with asking them, do they get vacation? Or if you saw them on a trip somewhere, you'll have them in your lap like a big baby. You'll be walking out of the office singing, I'm sexy and I know it. Now, what is this really? This is neuro linguistic program. It's not just what you say, it's what you do. So notice in my instructions, I said, you walk up looking at your paper, then you look up and you see them, and you smile, and you're like, oh, hi. Oh, Betty, is it? Oh, hey, that's a great shirt. <laughs> and guy, oh, hey, that's a great shirt. <laughs> that's a great shirt. Uh, you're a fall, right? <laughs> and, then, and then immediately follow up with, hey, 
do you all get a vacation around here? Or, hey, did I did I see you in Colorado at the Grand Canyon? Oh, it, was, it must have been a person just like you. So then what you immediately do is even if you get it wrong, that they've never been to the Grand Canyon or to the Golden, Gr Golden Gate Bridge, or you for that matter of fact, you've put their brain into the Grand Canyon. It's quite simple, and that's the way to do it. Thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.